What is good guys and girls? It's your boy, this dude here, and today we'll be taking a step, our first steps in an all new direction. It is no secret if you're a fan of this channel, not many of you are, right? There, I don't have a lot of followers. It is no secret that I've been wanting to work with newts and salamanders my entire life, and today we actually get the opportunity, we get the chance, so we're gonna start that new project, right? We got a male and a female. We're gonna get them, we already got them set up upstairs. I went and picked them up yesterday, but um, we're gonna build them out in an enclosure. We're gonna keep it simple as time goes on. I'll update you guys on their care and all of that. But yeah, let's just build them something dope and have fun doing it. Let's go. Now, this is the enclosure we decided to go with. 20 gallons, not too big. Uh, but still gives the animals enough space to kind of expo explore and express themselves. We went with the one with the background in it because these animals like to dig and burrow, really uh, just like to stay out the way. And we figured with three sides covered, they'd have more cover. Um, this animal, or this enclosure rather, has been sitting outside in the garage, hasn't had an animal in it for months. The animal that was in it actually moved into another enclosure in the uh, garage. But yeah, we're gonna clean it up get it ready let's get to a random african fire skink all right you guys this is how i've been keeping them in a bin upstairs in the cool room you see we got a large water receptacle you actually don't even need a water dish in there if you keep the substrate moist but uh because i'm trying to breed these animals you know i want to give them a place to do their thing probably under here I got a male and a female yep and we'll be getting two more females two or three more females they're doing fine looking very good beautiful animals got some good size good weight on them we were able to identify the males and females easily so, like I said, I'll be getting a lot more females, I think, next week. But, um, yeah, this is how I'm keeping them in the bin. They've been doing pretty good in here. They ate day one, so I'm not having any problems with any of that. They're rather comfortable. And really, we'll talk more about their setup. This is a brand new project. And I just wanted to show you guys how, like I said, I'm keeping them right now. And this pretty much is going to be the same setup moving to the enclosure. You know, not too much is going to change. We might even just move a lot of these items to keep things familiar. Not this, of course. I don't know what this is. I just threw this in here. But, um, yeah, we'll probably just move some of these items over. Or maybe one or two, one of these, and give them a big piece of cork bark or something. Throw a pothos plant in there and call it a day. Right? But, um, yeah. This is how... I'm keeping them and they're doing fantastic very well you see they they rather enjoy each other's company I can't wait to get a couple more females give this male some options but yeah
right, you dudes, and this is what we got after a little bit of work. I'm sorry about the audio. The AC is on directly above me. Anyways, we put a couple of these logs. Um, I just find these out like in the woods and stuff, and I clean them up, let them sit out in the sun for a couple weeks, and I put a couple of those in with some leaf litter. We threw um, a half round cork hide in there. And this is just to give them some um, some things to to burrow under. You know, these animals spend all of their time on the forest floor. So we threw some moss in there. Also, we got a pothos plant. I just clipped a bunch of my other pothos plants and threw these together. They always work well this way. So we're gonna give it some time to kind of like just fan out, do its thing, you dig? But um, yeah, and I think that we're gonna take this dish out here. We're gonna take this out and then give them like a, a flat square water dish or something that was just kind of like a placeholder. We got the background has, what is it, cocoa fiber and um, that'll help retain a lot of the moisture. And then we got the sides covered with um, the cork liners and this will make the animals feel like they're already inside of a big hide, you know? So you give them some privacy and to help them feel a lot more comfortable when it comes to acclimating. This is what we got. This is also, like I said, in the 20 gallon enclosure for those who don't know, it's nothing too big. We will upgrade them in a couple months, probably to um, a three foot exotero. We'll, we'll see how it goes. We could even go bigger because we are getting more females. Everything looks good. And yeah, last thing to do is put our animals in there and wrap this up. And before we wrap this up, we're about to move them into their enclosure. I added some more uh, leaf litter and sphagnum moss in there. Um, they're actually out hunting right now. Just put a little bit more weight on them. We're gonna uh, bump up feeding for the two of them. And we have more females we'll be picking up at a later date. We'll be doing the same for them also. We're gonna be running under tank heat over here on the left side of the enclosure, under back there. Uh, keeping them at about 71 degrees year round, but giving them the option to have that hot spot over there. When this enclosure is updated and we do decide to go bigger, we'll also take the under tank heat idea with us so they don't suffer. I've been watching them the last like couple days. It's a little bit of time has passed, but I've been watching them the last couple days and um, they I don't know if it's the male or the female, but one of them actually prefers being on the warm side. I had this bin sitting upstairs in the room, as you've seen, sitting on top of that, um, the PVC enclosure. And then a little bit of sun comes in to heat up the back corner over here. And I would always find, I don't know if it was the male or the female, but one of them back there getting warm. So um, I'm going to give them that option. We're going to move these guys, like I said, and they're both doing very well. Looking very well. I'm not gonna stress them out too much. They're running around in the mud. That's what they do. Let's get them cleaned off and get a look at them. There we go. Beautiful animals. Not gonna really be doing too much handling. But yeah, I get them into their new enclosure. And wrap this up. Everyone's safe and secure. I'm keeping it down a little bit. You see it's nighttime in the reptile room. 
But with everyone safe and secure in their new enclosures, ready to go into the cold room, I'm ready to start this new journey. You guys, I don't know if you guys know, but I've been waiting to work with salamanders and nudes for a really long time. Actually, since I was a child, the conditions were just never right. But um, now, things are right. So, we're, we're going, we're moving forward with this. I'm kind of excited. Now, I didn't hit the ground running on the entry level with the tiger salamanders. We got a male and female. We'll be getting a couple more females to kind of boost our chances at actually producing something. And I will not be selling these animals until we produce some in-house. But um, I'm also looking at other newts and salamanders. I have another enclosure. I have a paludarium built right here directly to my left. Um, already ready for some, uh, some newts. Uh, I want to kind of step it up, you know, get into some more rare morphs and breeds and uh, species in general so we're gonna do that we're just gonna kind of take it slow though the tigers have been doing very well we're gonna bump up their feeding kind of put some weight on them and yeah just get ready for this new journey this is gonna be very exciting i cannot wait to see what happens anyways i'm your boy smith this is all things living everything's sleeping but anyways um i appreciate you guys coming out you know i knew you could have been anywhere on this planet but you decided to be here with your boy and i appreciate that it really means a lot I'm out.